At the border of Guatemala and El Salvador, we met Laurent, who was also on his way to Patagonia. And then we explored a country which most travelers tend to skip, El Salvador. We first drove to Santa Ana to meet with Margarita, who had invited us to stay with her when we first met her in Mexico. Then we explored a large crater lake to enjoy the nature and indulge in some fresh seafood. Then we rode along one of the most scenic mountain roads that passes some brightly colored colonial towns and coffee plantations and has some beautiful coffee shops and restaurants along the way. Anyone keeping count how many times we repair this luggage rack on this journey? We lost count. And before we knew it, we were crossing the border to Honduras already. Our first stop was a much needed coffee top up. We were greeted with smiles and people here were so friendly that we didn't hesitate letting a local take the bike for a spin when he asked, yep, with all our belongings. We knew there was a storm underway and we wanted to make it to Roatan in time for Christmas, so we rode up north as fast as we could. On the way we stopped at Gracias, which is a pretty colonial town surrounded by hot springs. However, due to the weather, we decided to skip those and keep going. At times, Google Map directions were rather questionable, but we always ended up where we were supposed to. We made it to La Ceiba, however, due to the weather conditions and high waves, the ferries were not running. So we waited for a couple of days and made the best use of our time. Having left our motorbike at La Ceiba, we were finally able to board a ferry, but the weather still sucked. The storm had caused a bit of damage, leaving the beach looking far from tropical, but luckily the sun came out again the next day. Next we hitchhiked to West Bay because the cost of taking taxis on the island was extortionate. And shortly afterwards we arrived at our lush accommodation where we'd be spending Christmas and New Year's. The beaches were beautiful and frequently patrolled. We started Christmas Day off with lobster poached eggs. Then we hung out on the beach and in the evening we met up with Tracy and her family who kindly allowed us to gate crash their Christmas meal. After Christmas, there was more beach time and snorkeling along West Bay. The 
The sunsets out here were simply stunning. We had barely explored the island when Sandra fell ill with fever and after one week of resting and sleeping through New Year's, it was time to hit the road again. But we didn't get very far as we soon discovered that our tube had a puncture. After the short repair, we made it to Kamayagua, where we stocked up on fruit and explored the lively town center. Our last night in Honduras was in Danli, after which it was time to cross the border into our second favorite country in Central America, Nicaragua. Join us next week as we explore beautiful colonial towns, ride to Cerro Negro Volcano and see more lava. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying our journey. Subscribe to support our adventure and travel with us again next week. 